Hello dear students welcome to our discussion on phylum Sipunculida here we'll be taking the example of Sipunculus commonly called as peanut worms so these particular organisms or the uh, the organisms that is coming under the phylum Sipunculida they are marine organisms they are bottom dwellers they are burrow burrowing forms and also they feed on the organic matter that is present at the bottom as you can see in this particular diagram, their body is mostly worm-like, a worm-like body with a slender anterior region and a broad uh, posterior region. The anterior region, uh, the speciality of the anterior region is that the anterior region is having a specialized structure which is called as the introvert, which can be uh, retracted. Uh, which can be retracted out and at the end of this uh, particular uh, introvert you have the tentacles and also the mouth is present at this particular portion which uh, and this the presence of the introvert with the tuft of uh, tentacles is a major uh, feature or a unique feature of this particular group so we will directly move on to the salient features of this particular uh, phylum which is uh, Sipunculida so as we said they are marine they are worm like bottom dwellers and also deposit feeders they got the name uh, peanut worms because in the retracted state or when their body is contracted uh, it resembles a peanut kernel uh, as we saw its anterior end is narrow with the introvert and a large posterior trunk Coming to their body wall, they are having a cuticle on top of the epidermis followed by uh, the epidermis is followed by a very thin dermis and, uh, and also muscle especially the retractile muscles. Uh, the coelom extends or it is seen throughout the body. Uh, coming to its digestive system. So its digestive system which starts with the mouth at the, uh, the introvert region and it is highly coiled and also it takes a U-turn or it is U-shaped and it opens somewhere near the anterior end itself. Uh, and this is uh, a transverse section which shows the, uh, the highly coiled as well as uh, the U-shaped uh, elementary canal of the digestive system. Apart from that, you can also see the retractile muscles, uh, the tentacles, then also the excretory organ, the nephridia, and also the nerve cord. So in this particular video, you can see how uh, the uh, introvert is being retracted and also uh, taken in by the uh, particular worm so you can see here clearly uh, how the introvert uh, is pushed out and it is being retracted by this animal you can see the tuft of cilia here it's being retracted into the uh, inside the body so he, here you can see how uh, long it has been extended the introvert so at this end also here it's a uh, some other color but here also you can see the tuft of cilia here also because uh, the animal here it's uh, lightly colored you can see the tuft of uh, cilia more prominently <laughs> so the mouth is located at the anterior end and is surrounded by mass of ciliated tentacles and the ciliated tentacles is used to gather the organic detritus and also probably have the function of gills. There is no vascular system and there is no uh, organ for gaseous exchange. The coelomic fluid helps in circulation and also it contains the circulatory pigment called as the hemerythrin. Excretory organ as we saw in the diagram it is metanephridia. The ciliated urn cells uh, is present in the peritoneum. Peritoneum is nothing but the body cavity. Uh, so, uh, like the coelom, uh, it is the cavity which is present between the elementary canal and the body wall. Uh, 
uh, and the membrane uh, which is uh, very close toward the mem uh, the uh, this particular peritoneum or the cavity will be lined by uh, two membranes the membrane close towards the elementary canal is called as a visceral peritoneum and which is close towards the body wall is called as the parietal peritoneum and there are certain cells which are called as the urn cells in this peritoneum which is also associated with the removal of nitrogenous waste these are having indirect development with the trochophore with the uh, and they are also having the lava which is called as trochophore lava and it is because of uh, this uh, uh, similar larva which is a trochophore lava which is seen in some mollusk in some annelids etc uh, it is believed that this uh, the organisms coming under the phylum cypunculida they might have a, they are thought to have a common ancestor between uh, the uh, between the annelids mollusk etc so this one is uh, collected and sold as a model organism in many places and it's used uh, as a bait for fish and also in many places like vietnam and china it is uh, used for human consumption as a delicacy it is also sold and exported as dried seafood uh, seafood so uh, we can see a uh, video how uh, this one is collected so so this is a video from vietnam where uh, this uh, peanut worms are collected uh, for making their favorite dish which is called as a, a broth or a soup like dish which is called as a pho p h o so this is how they collect uh, this particular worms so this might be a low tide uh, you know, low tide now so they are collecting it from the uh, uh, the beaches you can see it is uh, burrowing in the loose sand so this is how they collected they sell it also they uh, dry it and make this particular dish which is called as the pho This is another video. This is also from Vietnam, which is showing the different dishes which is made from uh, this particular. So you can see. Uh, so they make many dishes with this particular uh, peanut worms. They use it dried and also as uh, in the normal form. Uh, so with this we come to the end of the discussion of uh, this particular phylum which is called as Saipanculida. Uh, we saw or we explained this particular phylum by taking the example of uh, Saipanculus commonly called as peanut forms. Thanks for hearing.